What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Aviation and Sasha, welcome back to sunny Arizona where I have a special day in store for you. You know what we're doing? No idea. Your only hint is that right now we are pulling up on Scottsdale Airport. Airport. Airport, Airport. yeah. <laughs> so basically I told her we were just going to like grab some lunch. What you don't know is that lunch is um, far away. How are we gonna get there? With an airplane. Oh my goodness. What, airplane? Um, a, a small airplane. I know you've never ever been in a small airplane, which is why I figured this video would be so fun to make, surprising you with your first small airplane ride. There's no going back. That's why I'm telling her right now so that she can't bail out of this. And this is all made possible thanks to my friend Trevor, who has this beautiful Mooney Ovation, I believe, 2001, early 2000s, big old Continental IO550. This thing is a rocket. And Trevor was nice enough to offer this flight today, so I happily took him up on that, and I think you're gonna have a great time. It might be a little scary, but you're in good hands. Trevor at the controls, he knows this plane well, and it's gonna be beautiful flying, great weather for this. Should be super smooth, I hope. I can't wait. I've never been in one of these newer Moonies, as you guys know on the channel. Owen, one of our first videos on Jerry Aviation was flying the Mooney rocket all around Phoenix. That thing was so fast, so much fun. But this one being a newer Mooney, I think the dimensions are maybe a little bit bigger, which will help because I'm six foot six and Trevor is six seven, so, we got some, and Sasha's not short herself. So we, we have some uh, uh, tall people riding in the Mooney today. So hopefully we're still comfy. We'll see how it feels and how it flies. But anyway, enough of us talking. You guys want to go see the airplane. Let's go. Are you ready? You ready? Uh, sure. I was just trying to get some lunch. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for this? That's going to be us here in about three minutes. I see the Mooney already. It's sticking out right over there by Transient. <laughs> it's sinking in. Yeah. <laughs> so Sasha, you were just thinking back to our Saba flight two years ago, and that was the smallest plane you've been on up until now. Yeah, so in comparison, how small is this one? So the flight to Saba, which was an awesome video, by the way, you guys have to check that out, landing on the shortest runway in the world, that plane had about 14 seats. This one has four. So it's a little, it's a little smaller. <laughs> Access granted. All right, here we go. We're behind the gates. And look at that, Trevor's all, oh my gosh, that was a big bump. I could have wiped out on that. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at that, Trevor's already pre-flighting the Mooney. Real quick guys, before we continue, I wanna give a big shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network with over 25,000 experienced and licensed therapists to help you with a wide range of needs. No matter who you are, everyone struggles with something. Everyone has their ups and downs. Nobody's perfect. Especially in today's day and age where everything is so fast paced, sometimes it's good to just slow down and talk to someone. We all know the importance of good mental health and BetterHelp is here to help. It's easy to get started. You just answer a few quick questions about your needs and preferences when it comes to therapy. That way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network tailored to your goals. Then you simply just arrange time to talk with your new therapist however you feel most comfortable. Let's be honest, some people just don't feel comfortable driving to an office and being face to face with someone. So that's why BetterHelp offers therapy over text chat, phone or video call. Get 10% off your first month of therapy using my special link down in the description below, www.betterhelp.com slash JR Aviation. Thank you BetterHelp for supporting the channel, making videos like this possible. Now without further ado, back to the vlog. Got a vision jet starting up over there. Oh, what a beauty. Golf, golf, Lima, Lima. <laughs> One of the coolest call signs out there. See, that must mean you're from Canada. I'm from Canada. Let's when when did you get down here? About a month or two and came back. So you're just enjoying the nice flying yeah. weather down here while it's cold up in Canada. So this is Sasha, Trevor, Sasha. Sasha. Nice to meet you. You're pre-flighting it. Everything looked good. Everything looks good. Okay, everything Sasha. Good. He says everything's good, so it we're we're good. good. It looks good. So you haven't flown with a small plane. Have you flown with a Canadian? I've never flown with a Canadian. Oh. I've never flown in a plane that doesn't have a November call sign. It's so funny you say that because I literally have to say Canadian. Otherwise, if I say Charlie, they go November Charlie. Uh, you know, <laughs> True. Like, yeah. It's, they're not used to it. They're not used to it. Oh wow! I love this years. paint. Thank you. Is this factory paint this or factory, so really? This is the only one that was ever painted in like this color scheme. Wow! So it's a one of one. One of one spec right here. Yeah. Super cool. So you said IO 550 under here. 310 horsepower. Always jets trying to ruin our video yeah. sound. Did it come factory with the three blade prop? Uh, no, so it actually came with the two blade. Two blade, okay. The previous owner put the three blade on just for a little bit better flying performance. And okay. Such. And that ramp appeal looks great with the three. All right, well, uh, Sasha, come this way. 
<laughs> little vision jet over there. Not bad. I think we should put her up front. You agree? We're up front, yeah. Up yeah. Front. You know, she's a great co-pilot. If anything goes wrong, I think we're in good hands. We're in good hands as long as you're not behind me. Two six foot seven boys. That, oh yeah. yeah, that wouldn't that would not work because his seat's gonna be all the way back. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be back here. Yeah, Sasha will scooch up, and I'll be right here. Okay, that'll work. Yeah. So I was talking in the intro. Is it different dimensions than say the Mooney Rocket that I rode in from yeah, the '80s? So, so the Rocket, my my dad had one. I grew up in one of those airplanes. Nice. And so basically, the early models was like a shorter body, and uh -huh. then it went to a mid body, and then. The ovation was kind of like the first long body. Oh, okay. But what became what's the cool story about this airplane is Porsche and Mooney partnered up in the eighties. What? And they actually made what's called a Porsche Mooney. And it was it was technically the first long body airplane. They stuck the motor out of a eighty eight or eighty nine Carrera. That is sick. And Rocket Engineering made the three oh five rocket and then Mooney was like, you know what, we want to make our own long body with our own motor. And uh -huh. the ovation came, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. I never knew that. Porsche X Mooney collab totally. plane. Totally. That is sick. While we're out here by the fuel tank, yep. what does it hold fuel wise? Yeah, so 89 gallons up at 9,500 feet, cruising at about 175 true. Wow, that's great. Burning about anywhere from 13 to 14 gallons an hour. And if I actually lean it out, lean a peak, I can get about 11 and a half. Lose about five knots, but you're still going that, pretty good. That's great efficiency, because these things are so streamlined. The, totally. I mean, just look at the body. It's so, yeah, you don't have the biggest cabin dimensions, but when it's cutting through air, it does a great job does at that. So job. you cannot beat the no, performance you're gonna numbers. Notice, because you're in, in that rocket, you're going to notice that actually that there is more room in here. For sure. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Because like, oh, it was a little tight yeah. in the rocket. So yeah. if I get a couple more inches, that is that works for me. Yeah. Classic Mooney tail. Yeah. So Sasha, this is how you tell a Mooney when you're at an, when you're at an airport and there's all these planes and you're trying to figure out which is the Mooney. You look right here at the tail and it goes vertical, just straight up. So like it's straight tail. See all the other planes? It's kind of like swoopy at an angle. Yeah. This is nearly directly vertical. I guess I'll go in the back yep. first. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I put that seat up a little bit for you too. So. Okay, in we go. Boom, boom, boom. Heck yeah. All right, we made it. This isn't that bad. I'm six foot six in the back of a Mooney. How's that? That's actually not bad. So I totally see what you're saying. Ain't, ain't nobody going behind you. <laughs> you need all that room. All right. In. Probably gonna have a bit of a hot start. Yeah. Bingo. That wasn't bad. Did this come factory with all that glass? Where'd you put it? No, so these two were factory, and then this, uh, the previous owner put in, which was G5, G500? G500, yeah. So sick. That's nice. Scottsdale Ground, good afternoon, Mini Ovation, Canadian Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. We're just at uh, Transit here with the information. Going to be departing to Payson, Arizona today. Mini, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. Thank you. Rowing 2 1, Taxi B Alpha. 2 1 by Alpha, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. Hopefully, give us a right turnout, and then we'll turn on route to Payson. Probably be about 15, 20 minutes out there. Gotta love a plane. It would be an hour and a half drive. Oh, yeah, look at that. Learjet. Old Lear, yeah. Beauty. Over to Tower 1199. Charlie Golf does a Lima Lima, Scott's Tower, hold short, runway 2 and arriving traffic. Hold short 2 1, Charlie Golf, Golf Lima Lima. Your windows are so clean. Yeah, I try and clean them up as much as I can. <laughs> Not like swirled and defected up. Some are just so just hazy. Just disgusting. Yeah, the things. I know. Those and they're nice. stupid to replace, too. Yeah, that's a thing why people don't do them. Yeah. That's it. Is that clips? a little clips? Yeah. No way. That's oh, pretty cool. I like those things. Me too. I think they're sweet. They were so cheap there for a while. I mean, yeah. Everything's going up, but like those... Those are really cool. Even like the Phenom 100s are pretty sweet airplanes too. Yeah. Oh, are you guys yeah. ready? You ready, Sasha? Citation 1 Papa Romeo, turn right Alpha 5. Sure. You'll, you'll have fun, believe me. It's better than an airline. All right, Alpha 5, straight across gently. 61 Papa Romeo, see you. Mooney Delta Lima Lima, Romeo 2 and clear for takeoff, stay direction flight. 2 1 clear for takeoff, looking for a right turn out on course to pace it. Mooney Delta Lima Lima, right turn approved. Right turn out, Curly Golf Golf Lima Lima. Oh yeah. 
Moon Eagle Delta Lima Lima, frequency change approved. Phoenix is 120.7 for flight following the face and if desired. Have a safe flight. 20.7, thanks for your help. Moon Eagle, Charlie Golf Delta Lima Lima. Alright, well, just put her on autopilot, because why not? Ah, yeah. Autopilot? Oh, yeah. Autopilot, heading. BS. Down, we'll go 900 feet a minute. Phoenix Approach, good afternoon, Mooney Ovation, Canadian Golf Golf, Lima Lima, just off Scottsdale, climbing through 3,300 feet via fire flight following to Pace in Arizona. Charlie Golf Golf, Lima Lima, Phoenix Approach, and verify your type aircraft. That's a Mooney Ovation, Mike 20, Papa Piston. Charlie Golf Golf, Lima Lima, Squawk 5344. 5344 on the Squawk, Mooney Charlie Golf Golf, Lima Lima. So that autopilot plugs right in with the G500? Yep, it's sweet, man. So adding function on that, it'll take it, wow, that's yeah. great. So it'll, it'll kind of plug in with either one of these. So you, if you hit one or two, it's on, number one. But if you hit two, it'll go to number two if you need it to. And then you get weather on here, if there was any traffic. Oh, terrain. Man, that's sweet. Okay, Golf Golf Lima Lima, your rotor contact two miles north of the Scottsdale Airport. Altimeter's 2994, say altitude leaving, and your requested funnel for pace. 2994, climbing through 4,200 feet, looking for 7,500 through Bravo, if able. Charlie Golf Golf Lima Lima, quit their Phoenix Bravo airspace, resume appropriate vehicle altitude to climb to 75 approved. Time to 75, Mooney Charlie Golf Golf Lima Lima, clear through the Bravo. Does this all sound like a foreign language to you, Sasha? Yes. Go You're go like, go what go the go heck's go going on? <laughs> Not bad, 1,000 feet a minute. Yeah. 130 knots. Three people in here, like, let's go. Approach. Basically, from this transponder, it's got ADSB in and out. And what that does is it gives us some traffic awareness. So whenever you see, like, minus 700, minus 13, that means that they're 1,300 feet below us. And then that's kind of the direction off their nose of where they are opposed to us. So this guy's 10 nautical miles right off of our nose. 1,500 feet below. This is like the Bravo corridor, basically. So if you zoom in here, so you got to be below 7,000 or above 9,000 to be out of the Bravo. We got clearance, but we didn't even need it because we weren't in it. So cool. I've never flown in a plane with a G500. That's pretty. Really? That no, it's nice. man, it's so nice. It's, right, it's super nice. This is about as good as you can get besides the G1000, right? For totally. Right. All right. Oh, yeah, that's the way. Oh, my goodness. We were right there yesterday. No way. Jet skiing. Yeah. Oh, there's the All right, Sasha, first impressions, what do you think so far? It is so beautiful up here. A little better than airlines, too. Oh. Everyone that I take up that's never been, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's so much better. Beach it Point Share Bravo is out of 2008 in the turn. This is kind of cool, too, because this tells us what the wind's doing right now. It picks it up, so we got just two knots cross, seven knot tailwind. I idled it back a little bit, so we're burning 14.3 an hour, true at 163. It's not too bad. So it's in knots, not miles per hour. To convert it, you have to do, I think it's 1.15? I think so. I mean, we're, we're approaching 200 miles an hour. Like it's Oh, yeah. Fast. Oh, wow. So it looks like, you know, you look out on the mountains, like, oh, we're not, not going too not quick. Going too quick. No, 200 miles right, Mike, Mike, Kind of in between 170 100. knots true, grounding 177 right now. And it's as the crow flies, so, you know, the, the, the way to get to pace normally is so indirect through, like, the mountains. It's yeah, what, what, what's the drive to pace in a couple hours? Yeah, about, because you got to go way eastbound to go around, like, four peaks all the way over that way. And yeah. And loop all the way back Welcome around. Bravo, can I Probably can get a little want? bumpy as we get close to the mountains. You'll be see the wind going over the mountains and everything. So it might get a little bumpy, but it won't be anything too bad. I like to tell people when they freak out about bumps, it's no different than if you're on a boat and you're hitting light chop. It kind of feels like the same way. And then, like, oh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, I see the speed brakes looking out on the wings. Are we going to use those? We might, depending. I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll start a gradual little descent once we get up here, but we might use them. Moody's, the thing about Moody's with the big, the big wing, they don't like to descend past 
seven, eight hundred feet a minute, or else you'll be hauling so hard to slow it down. So you kind of, Owen will tell you this, even with a rocket, because you got to kind of time your descent, especially with the engine and everything, not to not to shock cool it. So we'll start bringing her back just a little bit. I like how it's got the little analog fuel gauge on the wing. I'm yeah. Sure. So I actually use those. Those things are like super, super, super accurate. The Charlie Golf Golf Lima, Lima, squawking VFR, we'll talk to you on the way back. And just verify our frequencies, 1228 and 11932. You know, technically, if you wanted to, I can give you the controls, which, if it calms down on the way back, will let you fly it. Um, <laughs> it's easy. It's super, super easy. Three, zero, zero. Yes, dear. Pace and area traffic, this is Mooney Ovation, Canadian Gulf, Gulf Lima Lima. Just descended through 7,500 feet, shown 11.1 nautical miles to the Southwest, going to be inbound, crossover center field, joined down, wind right, runway 24, pace up. Did you ever want to like go to the airlines? Is that a goal, to, like go fly jets? Or? Yeah, so that's actually what I'm doing right now, slowly. Um, I, I got to go home, finish up my written test, get the commercial, then do the multi-IFR, hopefully find a job. Pace and area traffic, Mooney, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima is over center field, going to be joining down, wind right, runway 24, pace up. Oh uh, yeah, there's that lovely wind I was talking about. Nav light, boom, landing light, boom. Okay, final checks, gear down, gear down confirmed. Mixture is almost full rich, we got full props, full flaps, all the temps are looking good. Good speed, we're gonna turn. Pace traffic, Mooney, Charlie Gulf, Gulf, Lima, Lima, turning base, runway 24, pace. So do you see from this angle yeah, how it's kind of shaped like a U? Yeah, it kind of bellies out there in the bottom. It's I definitely know. nice if you're coming in a little too quick. Um, Bleed off some speed. Bleed off some speed. And we'll do a little slipping turn to bleed off some speed, bleed off some height. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. Come on. That was a little gust of wind there. And pace and traffic, Mooney, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. It's going to be exiting on Alpha 2. All right, we have arrived. We have arrived. Hey. All right, guys, so Trevor tells us uh, there's a great little restaurant on the field here. Is that yeah, the man, there's some pie up here, and there's some really good burgers and all sorts of stuff. It's awesome. Oh, so you hungry? Hi, I'm very hungry. And oh, the, yeah. the pie's nuts, believe me. The pie's unreal. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's best best around. So yeah. I promise you lunch, Sasha. This, this is lunch. See, here we go. Surprise. Beauty. Bam. There we go. You made it. You're good. Just hopped out of Gulf Gulf Lima Lima. Dude, I love the call sign. It's so easy to recognize when ATC's talking to you too. Totally. Okay, first impressions. Wait here for a second. What do you think? Genuinely one of the coolest experiences of my life. Hey, thanks so for making it happen. License now or what? Ah. Yeah, you gonna you gonna train with me? Pilot Sasha, it's got a ring to it. <laughs> I like the I like the sound of that. Okay, see? Cool. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you into it. Okay, we made it in. These are the world famous pies. Oh my goodness. I didn't know they had so many. Coconut cream, lemon, chocolate chip. Look at that. Perfect table. Awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, this place is so cool. This is exactly what you want out of like a little restaurant at the airport. Good view, good mountains. Immaculate restaurant airport vibes. Very aviation themed. Where else are you gonna get an open face steak sandwich for 12 bucks? Heck yeah. Back we go. Got our pie. Yes, we got the pie to go. The orchard, it's got all the fruits in there. Lunch was uh, fantastic. How, how do you rate this? Amazing, this place was so cool. Plants everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the, the decorations, it was so like 70s, 80s feel, just like mom and pop, small business. You know, we love supporting these restaurants to you know keep them in business. I got the chili burger, 10 out of 10. And like, the meals are like eight, nine, $10 each. Oh yeah, prices are 
crazy good. Yeah, so even though you burn a little 100 Lola to get here, at least once you're here, the prices are very, very nice. So we will be grabbing some gas while it's cheap. So uh, Pilot Sasha, you ready to go to work? Pilot. <laughs> Yeah, Pilot Sasha, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may just have to have you take the controls for a bit. Yeah. It's good I'm used to like fitting into like rear seats on like Ferraris totally. or Aston Martins. It's the same thing. It's you the same thing. Flex yourself, contort yourself in. Bingo! Once you're in, you're in. You just kind of slide on back. <laughs> See you at Crosswinds Restaurant. We'll catch you next time. And Payson area traffic, Mooney, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima, in the right turn out back to Phoenix, switch into on route. See ya. Pilot Sasha's reporting for duty, guys. You ready? So put your hand uh, here. Can I have instructions? Yeah, 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 so just, I'll be right here with you. Okay, so we're descending, but you got control right now. So just, just watch it. We're descending at 400 feet per minute. And then just give it a little bit, of, a little left, a little to the left, just a little bit of pressure to the left. You're doing good. And then push your nose down just a little tad. I'm right here too, so don't even, uh, don't worry. I'm right here with you. So just push forward just a little bit. You don't need too much. There you go. You're doing six, seven, oh, a little too much now. And just pull it back just a little bit. There you go, right about there. Yeah. It's all, it's, it's different. Like it takes time, but we're doing good. My goodness. Now straight, now a little bit to the right. Oh my It's so sensitive. Oh yeah, I know. So then just a little more back pressure, a little more back pressure. And then a little to the right. This is your first time. You're doing awesome. Looking for him will be a left down one. There you go. Find a point dead ahead and try to stay yeah. straight on it. So that mountain right ahead up there. So stay on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a quick call. I'm gonna leave the flying up to you, but I'm right here just in case. Okay. Three miles. Cessna joining the down one at the. You're doing really well. When you get them in sight. Good job. Keep it up. Oh, that's scaring me. That turbulence. You're good, just like that. Scottsdale Tower, Mooney, Charlie Golf Golf, Lima, Lima is showing 11 to the east, inbound, full stop, we got Foxtrot. So let me just take her here for a minute. All right, Sasha, his controls. Cool. Bang, <laughs> killed it. That was so cool. Speed brakes going out. Oh, here, all record. One. Two, one. We do have the traffic here at our 1130, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie Golf Golf, Lima, Charlie, make a right turn westbound. Traffic is above you, a golf stream at 5,000. Make the right turn westbound, I'll call your turn back in. Right turn west, Charlie Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. Let's name them Alpha, turn right Alpha 11, taxi 2, Leopard V Alpha, monitor ground point 6, good day. Alpha 11, Leopard V Alpha, monitor ground, good day, Lima Alpha. Hi, Tower, this is Sirius 224, Charlie Kilo. Carefree information box track, full stop. Come on. Beach up 400, extra there we go. Only nice. two, one. Nice. traffic is a king here, seven miles to the northwest. Golf Lima, uh, you can make that right turn on Alpha 7 and then contact ground point 6 for the traffic on Alpha. Alpha 7 and then point 6, Mooney, Charlie, Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima, thank you. Holy smokes, what a gong show that was. That was hilarious at the end of the day of Charlie, he just said, Charlie, go out of here. Dude, that's what I mean, everyone that sees a seaplane is like, what the heck? And Scottsdale ground, Mooney, Charlie, Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima, just the transit parking. Charlie, Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima, set the ground, taxi to transit and via Alpha. Hi, Alpha, Charlie, Golf, Golf, Lima, Lima. I think we were in the pattern longer than we were actually like <laughs> flying back for. For real, yeah, guys. I don't know if I if we recorded all that, but we had to do I don't know a couple, know. couple like 360s. A, that yeah. was like a lot. It's like a merry-go-round. Well, guys, I know you can't hear us very well, but that was an amazing day. Can't thank you enough, Trevor. Be sure to follow him on Instagram, follow along with his journey. And okay, Sasha, Pilot Sasha, you killed that. 
Like that was literally, good. That was good. <laughs> so, your, your altitude and heading, it was awesome. That was so clean. So yeah, thanks for letting her do that and uh, get the taste of uh, what uh, being a pilot's like. That was so, awesome. That maybe was we so sparked cool. something with her. You never know. Okay, well that was awesome. We'll let you get back on your way. You gotta get back to Falcon Field before it gets dark here. So thank you so much no once worries. again. Epic day no and um, Enjoy the pie, eh? safe travels and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Okay, so not sure how much of that audio there at the end was captured because those jets were taxiing by, but just huge shout out to Trevor making this day possible. Literally hit me up yesterday. He's like, hey, like, want to go blast off the basin or something? I'm like, that's a great idea because Sasha's in town. Like, you flew a plane. Like, come on. <laughs> I flew a plane. <laughs> how was that? Like, I'm so used to it by now. I've been in planes so many times, but you, first time ever. Tell YouTube your thoughts. Well, first of all, that was like super cool. One of the coolest experiences of my life it's so sensitive oh, yeah. it is so incredibly sensitive he told me to turn a little bit to the left and I I like went to go turn in the whole plane is like <laughs> it is, <laughs> you it is just like sensitive. just just so ever so slightly yeah. like nudge it and then and it is really responsive to yeah that. once you realized how sensitive it was you were just small little inputs and they were perfect spot on you maintain that perfect descent going into Scottsdale and for a solid like two minutes you were you were the one flying <laughs> he was making radio calls you were flying the plane I was like I was like is he flying I look over you're the ones on the controls because your turns were perfect so you killed that you definitely have what it takes to be a pilot so hopefully this uh, sparks something you know you can be doctor Sasha and <laughs> pilot Sasha at the same time why not I don't see why you can't you know um, I like uh, the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you always say something Russian in all the JR Garage videos, so please elaborate just a little bit more on the flight in your native tongue. Wait, hang on, hang on. Nope, wait. on the spot. No, hang on. Yes. Спасибо большое твоему другу, что он мне дал управление. Это было супер. Дал управление. Да, просто супер. Спасибо. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Any Russian speakers out there, comment down below. Okay, what an amazing day, what an amazing flight. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Have you been to Payson? Have you been flying around Arizona? Such a, such beautiful train out there. We had such a good time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and see you next time. See you next time.